Shahab, overall, what are you expecting dollar to do? Uh, I think for the time being, um, it's, we're coming to a point in the summer uh, with the World Cup coming up, for example, where what you typically <coughs> see is somewhat lower volatility, especially if we can get past this week uh, and without any major fireworks from the ECB or the Fed. At which point I would imagine a more range-bound dollar than we've had recently, uh, for a couple of months at least, and maybe even some bounce back by some of these more fragile currencies that we've talked about potentially. Um, down the line though, uh, a lot will depend on two things. First of all, what will come out of Europe uh, once the Italians have to present their right. budget? Uh, that's going to be right. something that becomes clear September, October time. If they do take a populist stance at that point, we could see a resumption of dollar strength with, with the euro taking a hit there. If they don't, then of course the euro has right. more upside. So I think <clears throat> the risk really around European politics is something that we need to watch. And secondly, how the elections pan out in countries like Mexico and Brazil uh, and Turkey, major emerging markets with political risk over the next three months. If they go badly, if populists do well or leftists do well, then I think the dollar uptrend will resume as well.